Lockdown has sent a few of you diving into the back of the pantry to whip up a meal from whatever you can dust off. And last night we were swamped with queries from you about how long cans of peaches or beans last, if it's safe to eat something that doesn't have an expiration date on it, and why you can't find a use-by date at all on Wattie's canned goodies. So we've gone to the top. Steve Thompson is the boss of Wattie's Food Safety and Quality. I asked him if I dug out my can of favourite black Doris plums, where would I find the expiry date? There isn't an expiry date on the can. There's something called a, 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 a Julian code, which is a series of numbers and letters. Um, and what that does, that, that allows us to have complete traceability of that product. It lets us uh, know when, uh, when it was made, down to the minute, uh, the, the, ty- the, the date it was made, the product in it, what line it was made on. Um, so for us, it contains all the traceability information that, that we need. Um, from a, from a, um, a date point of view, um, product uh, that's in cans that that's, has a shelf life of more than two years um, doesn't need uh, a best before date or, or any date marking on it at all. OK, um, so just so we're clear yeah. on this, because, man, have we had some queries about it. It's really sure. had um, our listeners uh, intrigued. There is yeah. no expiry or best before date on canned food because of the assumption that you've got a good two years before anything goes awry in the can. Yeah, that, that's partially correct. So, yeah, so at the end of the day, it, it, they're considered to be fast-moving consumer goods. So, so people buy them, they use them. They're not expected to be uh, kept uh, for, for years and years. Um, and the, 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 the reason, the, the code is not a secret in any way. It's just that the code that we put on allows us complete traceability. Um, and if we were to put a best before date on, it, it gives us a problem in terms of it adds complexity and cost to the way we operate. But the main thing is it's just not needed um, because canned food is always safe to eat. Always so, safe to eat because there's a lot yeah. of pantry diving going on at the moment, Steve. Yeah, People are fossicking it. around the back of the pantry yeah. looking to whip up a meal because they don't want to bother with the supermarket during COVID-19. Yeah. Yeah. So if they pull out a can, I've got a lovely array of your cans here, if they were to pull yeah. out a can of pasta sauce and they're looking at it thinking, is this OK to use or not? What's the guideline? Well, let, let me give you a, a bit of a potted history of, of canned food, I suppose. So... So canned food has been around a long time, a couple of hundred years. The, the, the British Navy are probably the first people who started supplying their sailors w- with canned food a couple of hundred years ago during the Napoleonic Wars. The, the, the process that is used uh, for canning effectively eliminates all microorganisms in the can. So the product cannot actually spoil in a microbiological way. Once the lid is on, it's a sealed unit. You can't get anything in or out of it, um, and we heat process it, so we effectively pressure cook it. There's a lid on it. We cook the can at over 100 degrees, mostly, um, and it basically uh, sterilises the contents. So the product inside the can is always going to be safe to eat as long as the can is not damaged or compromised in any way. Right. What will happen is that over time the product will deteriorate in quality. So a nice... No, I mean, if we take your Black Doris plums as an mm-hmm. example... Yeah. So over, over time what's going to happen is the colour of those plums is going to probably fade a little bit. Uh, they may look a bit greyer than the sort of a nice purple colour that from a can that you might uh, buy uh, that's only six months old. But the quality, the quality will deteriorate in terms of flavour and appearance, but it will always be safe to eat. So these codes, because people, some people are aware of the codes at the bottom of the tin, and I understand you've been with Watties for more than a couple of decades. Is that right? Yeah, I've been here for 24 years. Yeah. So are you like a code whisperer? If I told you one of the codes off the bottom of the tin, would, you, would it ring any bells with you? Probably. Okay, so I've got a can of chilli beans here, hot Wattie's chilli beans. And um, I'll tell you what, it's a real test of the eyesight, but it's ZH32171407R4. Does that mean anything to you? Yeah, yeah. So um, 
I can tell um, I can tell when that product was made, what line it was made on, um, and uh, the two initial letters tell me what what product is actually in the can. If if it didn't have a label and you hadn't told me what it was. Oh, I'm going to put you to the test. Can I do that? Let me give you an. Do, can you can you tell us how would you give, be able to give me a ballpark of how old that can of beans is that I just read out to you? Uh, yep. So that was made um, towards the end of two thousand and seventeen. Let me ask you another one. Um, and again, it depends on the light in the studio. I have to say, this one, this can says R. W zero seven seven nine zero one two two, and it looks like an S four. Does any of that ring a bell? Um, again, as I said, I can I can tell you uh, that was made uh, towards the end of two thousand and nineteen. Mhm. Um, and it was probably made on. Uh, uh, line R4, which means it's probably a soup um, or it could be a, a baked bean or spaghetti product. But that code, I can tell what it is if I look up that code RW, but I, I'm not, unable to do that. Let me just moment. double check if I've got the R4 right or is it an S4? What would it be if it was an S4? No, F4 wouldn't make sense. S for Sally. Does that... Uh, okay, so that means it's a seasonal product, so it'll be a fruit or a beetroot or corn or uh, something. Bingo! Like that. You just won the prize. My uh, my bad, I put you wrong. I didn't read the I didn't read the label <laughs> properly. Fine. But That's you were fine. you were exactly right. It is a light fruit salad, no added sugar. Hey, yeah, I, yeah. I'm imagining you're having a bit of a rush on at the moment with with canned goods. Would that be fair? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So so we're very busy. Um, we l- luckily we've just. Uh, completed most of the seasonal processing, so all the all the corn and the fruit uh, is in the can. Um, we are still processing tomatoes and beetroot uh, from a seasonal point of view, but also we're obviously busy making baked beans and spaghetti and soups and all of those other things uh, as well. Uh, and obviously, a lot of our product goes to Australia as well. So we're not just we're not just supplying New Zealand; we're also trying to supply uh, Australia as well. So yes, it's definitely busier than it, it would normally be, um, and uh, but, but that's a good thing. That's a good thing for us. Um, you know, it, it keep, keeps us busy. And it, if the factory's running flat out, it, it actually makes the factory run smoother. So it's uh, it's good. We really appreciate you taking time out to answer these questions for us, and it has solved a mystery. And our listeners will be very grateful. Well, you're welcome. And that was Steve Thompson of Watties.